so basically we done switching part from today we need to start which one part dear routing topic okay so basically we are getting some questions before we start routing if someone asking why we use routing clear if someone asking how many types routing and third question if someone asking which scenario use a routing clear and if someone asking how many way to configure a routing so basically this question today we need to discuss first clear okay now scroll down basically we are getting some scenarios okay uh we are getting a router basically router called which one layer device it's called layer 3 device which one device one in the layer 3 device that means it's work on which one layer ibrahim network layer okay one more thing A router called full duplex device which one device dear full duplex one more thing router A router number of ports we are getting a 2 4 6 or 8 why we are getting a 2 4 6 8 depends on series number or you can say depends on model number or you can say depends on vendor also clear now one more thing a router support routing a router support paninder which one translation dear net translation net means network address translation private to public switch never support this feature one more thing a router maintain which one table abhishek kirti routing table one more thing a router maintain which one table ibrahim aap table clear and one more thing you can write down a router always perform proxy concept which one concept dear proxy concept and one more point you can say router every port or you can say interface every port different network member clear now one more scenario for example if we are using a router so this one is my router router this side 0 by 0 this side we are getting a 0 by 1 clear okay router connected with this side switch switch connected with some of lan users done okay this side we are connected switch and this switch connected with some of which one devices dear server now basically router having how many interfaces right now two interfaces so basically this side we are getting a separate network 192 168 1.0 1 network/24 so this user having a ip is 1.1 mac address is a 1.2 mac address is b 
वन डॉट थ्री मैक एड्रेस इज सी वन डॉट फोर मैक एड्रेस इज डी नाउ वन मोर थिंग बेसिकली राउटर दिस साइड वी आर यूजिंग नेटवर्क इज वन नाइनटी टू वन सिक्सटी एट टू डॉट जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर सो बेसिकली टू डॉट टेन मैक एड्रेस इज ई टू डॉट ट्वेंटी मैक एड्रेस इज एफ कैन यू प्लीज वेरीफाई राउटर बोथ इंटरफेस सेम नेटवर्क मेंबर और डिफरेंट नेटवर्क पनिंदर राउटर बोथ इंटरफेसेस सेम नेटवर्क मेंबर और डिफरेंट नेटवर्क डिफरेंट नेटवर्क डिफरेंट नेटवर्क ओके इफ आई एम सेइंग ब्रदर इफ आई एम सेइंग दिस पीसी 1 ट्राइंग टू कम्युनिकेट विद दिस पीसी 4 सो विदाउट गेटवे विदाउट गेटवे आईपी और गेटवे मैक कम्युनिकेशन इज पॉसिबल और नॉट पॉसिबल 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 बिकॉज बोथ आर सिटिंग इन सेम नेटवर्क बर्ड 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 इफ आई एम सेइंग this user trying to communicate with this server so then what will be happen whenever this user generate data inside data layer 3 source ip and destination ip source ip is 1.1 destination is 2.2 so can you please verify inside data on layer 3 both are same network member or different network <laughs> both are different network so basically this user say brother i want to get a gateway ip and gateway mac is required so if someone asking sir what is the meaning of gateway gateway means it's a last exit interface from network so which one mm -hmm. so basically whenever this user mm -hmm. send data so switch will receive switch read layer 2 and forward this side so basically this one is my last point na from network from this network i want to get outside so this one is my last interface so basically okay, yeah there was issue on this router this interface 0 okay. by 0 we assign ip so gateway ip is very important which one is my gateway ip from your network first address or last address mm. act as a gateway ip i must say yeah hello so from your network first ip or last ip act as a gateway ip address so i will assign 1.254 and mac address is g okay whenever this server trying to communicate with this user then this server having a gateway ip no so for this user or servers this side we assign a gateway ip from this network which one so last ip 2.254 and mac address is h so right now this users this len user will get gateway ip already and gateway mac how to get after r resolve for gateway after r request we can get gateway mac information so this side server also get now go to second diagram so basically this one is designed this one is designed and now network engineer define for this users this users a gateway ip is 1.254 and gateway mac is g because this one is 1.254 mac is g for this servers gateway ip is 2.254 gateway mac is h clear so basically this side 2.254 mac address is h now communication is possible or not possible we need to check basically this router will maintain two table first is aap table so this router will say brother i am maintaining the aap table inside aap table this router will maintain ip mac address okay then then interface number then define time so basically by default router maintain on interface in entry in app table i will write on by default router install on info interfaces information inside app table now which one having a router interface 
कीर्ति इब्राहिम पनिंदर अभिषेक राउटर विच वन इज ऑन इंटरफेसेस हाउ मेनी इंटरफेसेस राउटर जीरो बाय जीरो एंड जीरो बाय वन सो बेसिकली वन डॉट टू फिफ्टी फोर मैक एड्रेस इज जी एंड इंटरफेस नंबर इज जीरो बाय जीरो टू डॉट टू फिफ्टी फोर मैक एड्रेस इज एच इंटरफेस नंबर इज जीरो बाय वन बट 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 फॉर ऑन इंटरफेसेस ऑन इंटरफेसेस टाइम इज माइनस माइनस मीन्स दिस एंट्री इज इन्फिनाइट दैट मीन्स नेवर फ्लश क्लियर इन्फिनाइट मीन्स never flush but 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 whenever this user this user this user this users this server this server will do our process and trying to get gateway man so basically router will store on this interface this users our entry this interface this server side user entry clear so i am saying 1.1 mac address is a on 0 by 0 time is running 1.2 mac is b 0 by 0 Time is running. Two dot ten MAC address is E on zero by one. Time is running. Two dot twenty MAC address is F on zero by one, and time is running. It's clear. So our table process is clear. Now one more thing. One more thing is which one? Basically, this router maintain routing table. Which one table? Paninder Ibrahim. कीर्ति अभिषेक राउटिंग टेबल सो बेसिकली इन साइड राउटिंग टेबल हाउ मेनी इन्फॉर्मेशन वी आर गेटिंग इन आप टेबल वी आर गेटिंग आई पी मैक इंटरफेस एंड टाइम इन्फॉर्मेशन बट इन राउटिंग टेबल वी आर गेटिंग अ फर्स्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज राउटिंग कोड राउटिंग कोड मीन्स टू डिफाइन हाउ टू गेट नेटवर्क इन्फॉर्मेशन देन वी आर गेटिंग विच वन इन्फॉर्मेशन परफेक्ट और यू कैन से होल्ड ऑन वी कैन से दिस वन इज माई विच वन इन्फॉर्मेशन Network address sometimes, and sometimes we are getting IP address. Then we are getting one more information: subnet mass. Clear? Then we are getting interface number. So can you please verify, Faninder Ibrahim Kirti Abhishek, how many networks connected with this router interfaces? Router, how many networks connected directly? two networks two networks sir two no. networks so basically whenever router get directly connectivity so routing code is c so first network connected with this interface which one this network network address is 192.168.1.0 subnet mass is slash 24 and which interface connected 0 by 0 from this network any interface available on router yes this interface so this interface on interface information is stored by l l means local interface and which one having a ip on this interface 1.254 subnet mass is slash 32 because it's a single ip all octet full and now which interface 0 by 0 now router will verify one more network connected with this interface this one so c network 192.168.2.0 Slash twenty four on connected with zero by one. One more local interface one ninety two one sixty eight two dot two dot two fifty four because this interface also getting IP address from this network now. Now so this one is local interface slash thirty two with zero by one. So basically, always write down one theory. By default. <coughs> Router is store inside routing table directly connected network information already clear if network engineer want to install indirectly network info mission then use which one protocol ibrahim paninder routing protocols clear 
So this two points is clear. Now, how data traffic will forward now router? So basically first create your diagram. This one is your diagram. Now, so basically this one is 1.254 MAC is G, 2.254 MAC is H. And this router will maintain two tables, ARP table and routing table. This user also maintain ARP tables, not a routing table. This server also maintain ARP table. Now, basically we show only router ARP table. So copy this ARP table. Oh, control Z. Give me one second, hold on. Copy this one, go to scroll down. Okay. Right now, this side. So basically, this one is which one app table, dear? This one is which device app table? Router app table. Clear? Done. Now, router maintain routing table as well. Copy this routing table. Now, paste on this side. Done. Now. Now, how, how data traffic will forward? Basically, one more thing you need to remember, this users also maintain R table. But inside R table, this user will say IP, math, time. So basically in app entry, will take four hours. So basically this user say my gateway is 1.254, Mac is G and time is running. This server will also say I'm maintaining which one table? App table, IP, Mac, time. 2.254 Mac is H and time is running. Clear? Parinder, Ibrahim, Abhishek, Kirti, this thing is clear. Now, how data traffic will forward now? So basically, it's a very simple. Whenever this PC trying to communicate with this user, so without gateway communication possible, but how to communicate with this server? So this user will generate data and data add layer to information in layer to source Mac destination Mac and data will add layer three source IP destination IP. Now how to add now this user says source Mac is a source IP is 1.1 destination is 2.10. So both are same network or different network. Ibrahim, Faninder, Abhishek, Kirti, both are different network. If you're trying to communicate in different network, so verify your gateway map, which one G. So destination is always gateway map. This data traffic forward from this user to switch. Switch read layer two. On layer two, source Mac is A, but destination Mac is G. So G connected on this side. Router will receive on this interface and verify now first look up in which one table routing table and right now router verified destination is 2.10 any network available in routing table 2. Dot, Ibrahim, Paninder, Abhishek, Kirti any network available 2. Dot, 192, 168, 2. Dot network this network available yes or no but connected yes. with which one interface 0 by 1 so zero. router say, okay, if you want to reach so zero by one interface will help. Okay. So zero by one interface IP is 2.254. Okay. Any Mac information is available? No. So router every time do which one task? Proxy. What is the meaning of proxy? Whenever router forward this data on this side. So second lookup is our table and router verify which one IP, which one Mac is 2.254. Which one Mac? H. So basically, whenever a router forward, forward data. So data router will add layer to source Mac, destination Mac, and router will add layer three, source IP, destination IP. Now, so whenever router forward data, so router verify. Source Mac is which one? This interface, exit. So 2.250 Mac is H. Destination is 2.10. Any entry available? Yes. MAC address is E. Source IP is 1.1, 2.10. Now, switch receive, switch look up into layer 2 and forward on this server side. This server receive and verify 
okay i am receiving the data traffic from h but which one is source 1.1 1 .1. okay so now server trying to send back which one message reply so reply time server will verify gateway information is available in app table yes so on layer 2 on layer 3 source mac destination mac source ip destination ip now so basically which one device sending reply message server na so source mac is e source ip is 2.10 but destination is 1.1 now server send back reply in same network no so different means gateway mac destination h switch receive and switch forward on this side router again receive and second first look up in which one table routing table router verify destination 1.1 .1 network is available yes this network and connected with 0 by 0 0 by 0 interface ip is 1.254 now Whenever router forward this data traffic via this interface, so router verify 1.254 MAC is G. So router will say, okay, brother, I am sending your data. Layer, layer 2, source MAC, destination MAC, and layer 3, source IP, destination IP. Now, so router will say, source MAC is exit interface, 1.250 MAC. So source MAC is G. Destination MAC is 1.1. .1. Which one? Any entry available in app table? Yes. A MAC. Done. Source IP is 2.10. Destination is 1.1. .1. This switch receive and look up into layer 2 and forward on this user. Whenever this user receive, this user verify. Destination is A. Okay, it's a me. But sender is G. That means it's my gateway. Acceptable. So router every time do proxy. But on which one layer? Paninder, Ibrahim, Abhishek, Kirti. Router will perform proxy on which one layer? Layer 2, layer 3. Verify. On which layer router perform proxy, dear? Layer 2. Layer 2. Layer 2. Done. Now one more thing. So basically, if I am getting a this kind of design. Yes, again, what do you mean by proxy in this? Huh? What do you mean by proxy in this? Proxy means hide your LAN network devices actual MAC address. Only uh, you're talking about. So you're yes. talking about the, the the source MAC address would be that of the uh, intermediate uh, node, right? That's what. Yes, you mean, yes, right? yes, yes. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now. Verify this one design we discussed now. 0 by 1, 0 by 0, 0 by 0, 0 by 1. Now, in this design, we are getting a two side. This one is my Delhi side. This one is my Bangalore side. Clear? Now, one more thing. In Delhi side, we are using a LAN network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4. Done. 1.1 A Mac, 1.2 B Mac, 1.3 C Mac, 1.4 D Mac. And this interface Mac is 1. Dot, uh, IP is 1.254 and Mac is E. Clear? Now, one more thing. Basically, Bangalore side, we are using a LAN network is 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So this server is 2.10. Mac address is F. 2.10, uh, sorry, 2.20 and MAC address is G. Clear? Now, so both are, both LAN different network or same network? Verify. Both branches LAN network is same network or different? Different, different method. Different now? Now, basically now network admin will configure on when side interface, this one and this one side. How many IP required on when side when side link? How many IP required in between two routers? On this link, two. how many IP required? Two. Only two IP. two IP. So we are using slash 24? No. We are using a slash 30. And which one network? Router 1 and router 2. That means we are using 12.0.0.0. That means 12.0.0.1 IP. And MAC address is? Uh, we can say it's a MAC address is K, 12.0.0.2 because device 2 and MAC address is L. Done? Now, 
so in this design communication we can try but first verify first thing can you please verify brother uh hold on uh from this lan network that means if i am saying from router 1 to this lan network directly connected or indirectly connected Uh, come again from, come again uh from router 1 to router 2 0 by 1 interface network is directly connected or indirectly connected uh, indirectly connected indirectly because we are not getting any direct cable na okay from router 2 to router 1 0 by 1 interface network is directly connected or indirectly connected indirectly connected indirectly connected clear now so routing always perform for which one network paninder ibrahim abhishek kirti indirect network clear now one more thing so in this design we can learn communication task clear okay but scroll down first point always clear now we need to learn about the routing basically routing available two types one is my source base and other one is which one dear destination base clear destination. now source base routing we can perform on the basis of which one information policy destination base routing we can perform by a static routing default routing and we can use dynamic routing clear how how to uh, how to differentiate this two routing for example this one is your user connected with your switch and switch connected with router and router connected with two isp isp1 isp2 this one is 10 mb link and this one is 100 mb link but right now this switch connected with two user this one is admin and this one is marketing department person now i am saying whenever marketing department user trying to send data so automatically traffic will go to via which one dear isp side clear basically this router only look up into which one information destination information on which one layer layer 3 but 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 i am saying now this router whenever admin traffic is coming on my router then router verify which one information dear source on the basis of which one policies clear after verify source traffic will forward via which one side isp2 side so basically by default router look up into which one which one information destination but we can forcefully say you can verify which one information dear source information clear paninder dimple ibrahim now so basically we can learn both both routing in ccnp but little bit discussion in cci we discuss complete now one more thing one more thing is we learn destination base routing which one dear destination base routing destination base routing is three types which one static so by default uh, which is the uh, routing that is configured destination base destination destination base okay for source based routing to be enabled where do we need to configure yes we need to configure some tasks okay some more come here source based routing we can perform on the basis of policy we use acl route map clear then we can perform perfect list and multiple things now destination based okay. routing we discuss from static from default and from dynamic routing dynamic. okay right so, now so in static routing excuse we me uh, for for the source based routing only for poly with policy policy only policy we discuss now how to configure policy first you need to learn destination based process na then you can configure mm. the source base 
If you don't okay. have any idea about the destination base, so how it possible to configure source based policy? All so right. first, first data coming on your router, then verify your traffic, which one user is coming. So ACL will help to verify the traffic to match the traffic clear. Then second thing, we configure route map to define the next stop IP clear. Then we can say we are configuring policy source based routing on the basis of policy. Now, in destination based routing, first we learn static routing. In a static routing, we learn three things. We learn next stop based routing, next stop, exit interface, and which one routing, dear? Floating. Then we start default routing. In default routing, same thing we discuss next stop, exit, and floating. And then we start dynamic routing protocol. In dynamic routing protocol, we discuss IGP protocol, EIGRP and OSP. Clear? Then we discuss EGP protocol. In EGP protocol, we discuss only BGP protocol with which one version? Which version? Version B4. 4. Clear? Now. So we do all, all the lab of, of this with this protocol. Yeah, lab we also do. No worry. Before okay. start routing, must be clear some concept. In routing, first concept we are getting. Which one information, dear? Routing codes. If someone asking what is the meaning about uh, what is what is the meaning about a routing codes? Routing code means to define how to learn a networks. So basically routing code we are getting for directly connected, directly connected network routing code is C. One more routing code for on interface, router on interface. So basically router on interface routing code is L clear. Now static routing is default. Uh, static routing code is different. Default routing code is different. Dynamic routing protocols code is different, but this two code is mandatory. Now, second thing, second thing is which one we are getting AD value, which one value Ibrahim Paninder AD value, AD value means to define network, how many distance from source to destination, clear? So basically AD value is eight bit. And one more thing, AD value called administrative distance one more thing some routing protocol use predefined ad value one more thing we can use a formula formula is very simple 2 power 8 bits, so we are getting a 256 value, but valid from 1 to 255. Which one, dear? So AD value range is which one? 1 to 255. So AD value will define to define network how many distance in between source to destination. Now one more thing, we can get third option. Third option is. Which one, Faninder? Metric. What is the meaning about the metric? Metric means how to get best path. Which one, dear? How to get best path. Basically, metric. Metric available in Which one table, Ibrahim? Routing table. One more thing. Metric 
वैल्यू इज हाउ मेनी बिट्स हाउ मेनी बिट्स डियर थर्टी टू बिट्स क्लियर हाउ मेनी बिट्स वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग थर्टी टू बिट्स वैल्यू वन मोर थिंग राउटिंग टेबल बाय डिफॉल्ट कैन इंस्टॉल थर्टी टू बिट वैल्यू एज ए मैट्रिक वन मोर थिंग राउटिंग टेबल पॉसिबल टू इंस्टॉल सिक्सटी फोर बिट मैट्रिक बट यूज आर आई बी स्केल फीचर राउटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड स्केल फीचर क्लियर नाउ फोर्थ फीचर फोर्थ फीचर नेम इज timers what is the meaning of timers timers means to get information about neighbor it's alive or down timers will be two types we can say we are sending keep alive and we are getting wait timer clear keep alive use x value and wait is always 3x that means for example if keep alive is every 1 second we are sending so hold timer is how many paninder hold timer is automatically how many second 3 second clear now one more thing so 3x now one more option is available fifth number fifth number option is which one uh we can say authentication authentication is to secure routing devices from unauthorized devices from unauthorized devices clear from to secure routing device from unauthorized devices now so basically authentication is one two two types one is my md5 md5 means message digest version 5 and other one is hmx sha 256 clear paninder ibrahim abhishek kirte this thing is clear now sixth point sixth point is which one sixth point name is load balancing load balancing means to get multiple best path clear now seventh seventh feature name is automatic convergence automatic convergence means it's very simple automatic convergence means to get primary and secondary path concept clear which one concept primary and secondary path concept okay it's the last feature eight which one feature abhishek kirti ibrahim loop prevention okay 
to prevent loops which type loops we can prevent control plane and data plane if someone asking sir what is the meaning of control plane control plane available on router switches firewall access point also clear basically control plane means whenever devices exchange updates in outside inside updates device will exchange network information Data pane means whenever device is sending, send, receive traffic, then we are getting a loop charge. So both loop charts we can prevent with the help of some mechanisms. Clear? With the help of some mechanism. Any doubt? Kirti, Abhishek, Faninder, Ibrahim. Kirti, Abhishek, Faninder, Ibrahim, clear these points. Hello. Yeah, maybe oh. the, the first points. Uh, oh. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, the first uh, point uh, before metric. Yes, the first, yeah. Uh, yes. The routing the code means value. to get, to get, to define how, to, uh, to define how this route learn via any routing protocol or automatically so we are getting a routing codes for directly connected route routing code is c and router on interface network information installed via which one code with l static routing default routing dynamic routing protocols routing code is different clear we discuss step by step okay okay uh, um will you have the policy routing in the routing uh, with uh, for routing code policy is not getting any routing code policy okay. is concept is different clear we forcefully right. define the path we forcefully define the path for a specific devices so that condition device will verify source information which one information source information and which type of source information you can say IP, MAC address, or port number. Which one information? IP, MAC address, and port number. Port. Okay. Clear? Yes. So go through this small video. Tomorrow we discuss complete static routing and then default routing. Clear? Faninder, Ibrahim, right. Abhishek, Kirti. Go through this short video. Okay. You can receive this video on Google Drive. 